And so this is example two, uh, compaction specification. So in this example, basically, uh, we are given standard proctor test results. In this example, we're going to use that result to basically check if our field compaction effort uh, meets the specification, or given that specification, what is the appropriate uh, dry unit weight after compaction. Okay. So this example has two parts. The first one, this is basically similar to example one. So we are given this standard proctor test. Let's get these two pieces of information. And then we'll look at, uh, we'll look at the specification. Okay. So for the first part, we have, uh, so let me show you in this table. So this is that same set of uh, results. So that's from standard proctor test results. We have capital V, that's the total volume of the soil, which is also volume of the mold, one over 30 of a square foot. And then we have the total weight of soil. So this is the moist, so this is basically total weight. And then we are also given moisture content. That's this small w here, moisture content. So for moisture unit weight, so this is something, again, similar to example one. So I'm going to just directly write the results here. So this is, let's call this gamma n. So that's the moisture unit total volume. And for dry unit weight, so example one, gamma moist over one plus moisture content divided by 100. Okay. So if you substitute that, um, this will be this last column. So that's a compaction test results. Um, so we have the dry unit weight and moisture count. So we're going to take this column here and this last column, dry unit weight, and plot a compaction curve. Okay. All right. Uh, so this is that compaction curve, um, basically using that last two columns of data, moisture content versus dry unit weight. So that's the compaction curve. And from that, we're going to get gamma D max. So this is gamma D max. So that's a dry unit weight. That's Y axis value corresponding to the peak of this curve. And this is about 106 pound per cubic foot. So that's gamma D max. And then the moist corresponding moisture content that's uh, we call WOPT, moisture optimum moisture content. And if you read this value from the uh, horizontal axis, it's a little over 14, so it's 14.4%. Okay. So that's basically part one of this example. Uh, we get these two values, gamma D max and this optimum moisture content. And then let's look at the second part. For the second part, the specification calls for 95% relative compaction. And we are asked to find what is the field dry density. And here we're going to use need weight. And the range of corresponding moisture content. Okay. And first to get the dry unit weight, let's use the definition of relative compaction. So let me go to that side here. Okay. So relative compaction, so this is part B. By definition is gamma D field over gamma D max times 100%. In, in this example, the specification asks for 95% relative compaction. So this equals to 95%. And then gamma D max, remember that's from standard proctor test. So we know this gamma D max is 106 PCF, 106 pound per cubic foot. 
but then you can calculate the um, the field dry unit weight, so gamma D field. So this is 95% of gamma D max, basically. So that's about 100.7. So that's 95% times gamma D max. So that's 100.7 PC. So that's gamma D field. Okay. So let's plot this gamma D field on this curve. Okay. So this is gamma D, that's 100.7. So that's gamma D field. Okay. So if you draw a horizontal line corresponding to that gamma D field, so this line is going to intersect compaction curve at two points. So I have one intersection here, and one intersection here. Okay. And then if you look at this compaction curve for moisture content between these two points, the curve is above this gamma D field. Okay. So do you have this portion? That means if your moisture content stays within this range, your gamma D is going to be higher than this 100.7 value. It's going to be higher than that 95% compaction. Therefore, the range of corresponding moisture content is basically the range between these two uh, limits. So you can read these two values from the curve. So this value here, is about 10.8. And then the upper bound is 16.7. Okay. So if you compact soil in the field with a moisture content between these two limits, 10.8 and 16.7, the unit weight is going to be higher than 100.7. So that means you meet the specification, so you meet the requirement. So if you compact soil within this, you're going to get gamma D higher than that 95%. So the acceptable range or the content corresponding to 95% of relative compaction is 10.8% to 16.7 percent. 